So, today's random thoughts. I'm sorry yesterday I didn't get to, but today we'll do two. One later with the visitor from Connecticut. Um, today's thoughts are, have you ever read, read Reader's Digest where they say, like, things a banker will never tell you, but you should know, or a doctor will never tell you? Well, this segment is things a pharmacy technician would like to let you know. First of all, when we say the wait time is about a half hour, it's really not that bad because between dropping the prescription, inputting it, all of the different processes and filling it has to go through in the final checks, it does take about 25 minutes to a half hour. So that is one of the least amount of times that you'll see. Even though it may seem long, that's one of the least. Also, when you bring us in a pharmacy coupon, you may think it runs through the register like a regular coupon, but it doesn't. The reason it takes so long is because a coupon for a pharmaceutical means that it must be run through just like an insurance. So we have to put it in your account just like an insurance card, run it through, it's submitted, and hopefully it's approved. So it does take a little longer and that's natural. So we do it as quick as we can. Unfortunately, they're not like regular coupons because that can just be scanned. I'd like to hear your feedback on what you would like to know about the pharmacy, um, why things take so long, um, any questions that you have that I might be able to answer for you, because that is my job as a pharmacy technician. And again, later we will have more random thoughts with my visitor from Connecticut. So keep your answers coming. I got a lot of good feedback from the last video. I'm really excited about it. And besides that, um, I do still want to know what you think about the cruise ship. Nobody's really told me about that yet. The one that went um, tipped over and the the captain said that he slipped and fell into a lifeboat. Do you think the captain should have stayed on board and continued to help the rest of the citizens? And also a very interesting question is if you were in the predicament where you could get on the lifeboat or you could stay and possibly save other people and help them before you got on, would you stay or would you just jump right on the lifeboat? A very deep question because what would you do when you're faced with here's a lifeboat for you but there's an elderly couple you know another road down that needs help what would you do i really want to hear what you have to say so leave me comments spread the word share subscribe on youtube everything love you lots bye